The most uncomfortable you made somebody. Uh, the most uncomfortable, well, the angriest would be Michael Jackson fans. When I went to Santa Maria and uh, for the trial, this is one that people, it, it, it's not as famous because we came out with this big Best of Triumph DVD that's on Netflix mm -hmm. in 2004. This was the year later, so not as many people have seen it, but people had come from all over the world yeah. to defend their hero that every comedian in the country was reveling in, you know, yep. calling him a child molester, basically. Yep. And Triumph usually goes with, you know, the tide. He doesn't buck the tide. He's like, okay, <laughs> I'll just do those jokes. And, and so, um, boy, were they mad at me. They would, I can't do it here, but they would, the first day they would curse. They were smart. They all banded together. And so I, when I would interview people online, that was the idea. Triumph was going to interview people. About Michael, about Michael yeah, yeah, and make yeah. all kinds of horrible jokes, and okay. uh, and they were cur they would curse, they would chant uh, the f word repeatedly mm. over my interviews. I was very impressed. I were you uh, ever worried about them being physical with you? They were Michael Jackson fans. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't the most threatening <laughs> lot. They're dressed as a variety of harlequins and panda bears. They had these crazy costumes on. They were the least threatening mob you've ever seen. Okay, but but Eminem looked like he was ready to. I was I was hurt you. not scared. I was I was amused at how many people were scared for me, because it was like all I cared about was I didn't get to do my jokes, because like I'm I'm sitting there. Um, now, this is an award show. This is the VMAs. Um, and Triumph had already done the VMAs the year before. He asked J-Lo if he could sniff her ass. And it was very successful, so they had me back. <laughs> and this time, they said, uh, OK, so you'll start with Moby. And um, oh, you know, Moby had agreed. He's like the only sucker who, yeah, I'm on camera, sure. <laughs> So, so Moby was fine with talking to me. And then they say, oh, and then we'll have you go up to Eminem. And I was like, uh, OK, so can we talk to Eminem, let him know? Hey, he's Eminem. He's going to love it. You've seen his videos. He's hilarious. And he is. But he, he so what happens is, so they place us. Like, <laughs> I didn't know any of this. They're like, OK, so, you're, no, so there's Moby. I'm going to sit next to him. No, we're going to move Moby. Three rows behind Eminem. It's going to be great. Come on. This is like during the show. So mm -hmm. they plant us like three rows behind Eminem. And this is a commercial break. And Eminem sees this. And Eminem had had a beef with Moby. This was the whole thing. He had dissed Moby in his nominated video because Moby called him homophobic. And Eminem was offended by that concept <laughs> that he was homophobic. Okay. <laughs> so we placed ourselves down. <laughs> How dare Eminem be insulted by that? By anybody, yeah. yeah. No, he, actually he was right. But uh, so he, so Eminem sees Moby, and this is Eminem. He's like, and Moby's there, and, and he's like, I can't do it because this is television. Now, yeah. So it's, yeah. But he, what the F, the F are you doing here? And then he called him, um, it wasn't a homophobic word. He, he, he had the presence of mind not to call him a homophobic slur, but he, he found a slur that stung, and Moby was just like, well, I guess he's madder at me than I thought he was. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, uh, we, we're going on in 30 seconds. We're just going to deal with it. So I insult Moby, and then I have to go up to Eminem, and Eminem just grabs the puppet like, with his hand and just like, <laughs> It's all right, I already have my TV time. You know, he's doing that voice. And, and his, his posse's right next to him, and it's like Proof and Obi Trice were the rappers. And one, I, I kind of try to keep going, but then Proof takes my sheet of jokes, because I don't memorize anything yeah. when I'm trying. Well, I mean, I improvise sometimes, but if I have jokes, I'm going <laughs> to, it's, you know, pathetic little Jewish guy on his knees. That's how I get people to be insulted because I look more pathetic than anybody. <laughs> I'm just like balding. Is it OK if I say it to <laughs> And so, OB, so, so Proof knocks my papers over. And, but he had a smile on his face. He knew he was in the middle of basically a wrestling sketch. 
And, but the MTV panicked, cut away, you know? And everybody later was like, oh my God, I was so scared for you. You were gonna get killed. It's like, these are performers. What are you talking about? And I wanted to go backstage, because I had this idea, oh, we'll go, because well, Jimmy was the host, Fallon. And I said, uh, let me talk to Jimmy. I'll get a neck brace, it'll be hilarious. <laughs> and I'll come on, yeah, and I'll apologize and I'll do some of the jokes that I was gonna do. We ended up doing that in a press conference later, but I wanted to do it, and they wouldn't let me go backstage. They're like, he'll kill you. You're gonna get <laughs> murdered by the man with the rappers. <sighs> they were, it, it's like publicists living their dream life of making, over-dramatizing the thing. And that would have been, I would like to have seen you too. Go at it, though. No, but the, the, the amazing thing is, like, I should have been just a stain on Eminem's shoe, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a stupid well, puppet. Well, you He's have the him most on brilliant a... rapper on the show. No, but here's a A year later, he writes a song about Triumph. Like, I'm past it. He writes a song called Ass Like That. He imitates Triumph on the song. <laughs> and it's a funny song. And I'm, like, honored and thrilled that he didn't mention my real name. You know, uh, that would have been bad. Your real name, but...